Chess friends, chess is a game of intellectual prowess and sheer complexity, the Archer Queen stands as a formidable chess engine on chess.com boasting an impressive LO rating of 29,000, today I'll recount the second match between me, and her where I sacrificed my queen. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way, let's get started, I played d4 queen's gambit, e6 c4 and here she could decline my queen's gambit, but she goes for Hortwiz gambit, for that reason I get more space in the center, d6 and she want to play knight f6 g6 to play bishop funetto, because this structure isn't suitable for the bishop's entry, on the other hand white will focus to develop his pieces, make a strong structure. I can also push my f pawn to have control over the light squares, play castle and be happy, so knight c3 g6 e4 bishop g7 played f4 as my plan, I want to put my bishop in these specific places, knight f3 then I will advance my center pawns, so archer queen responded with a6, she want to advance the queenside pawns. If you prioritize yourself, you are going to save yourself, so we have bishop to c4, with the idea of playing queen d3 then castle, black stops me from castling with bishop d4, so knight e2 to kick out the bishop, bishop run away castle, knight d7 to play knight b6 to target the bishop, and her strategy is to play castle to push the f-pawn where the pieces will join the party on f5 square, so after knight c3, castle queen d3 bishop takes f3 queen takes f3 we have king h8. Her intention is clear that she want to push the f-pawn with the knight support where the d4 square will be a permanent post for black, so bishop d2 f5, taking the pawn isn't good because the knight can arrive on there, the main problem is that the d4 square is very sensitive for white, so if you dare to push the pawn then after takes takes, black will win up a pawn with a target, the black bishop and the rook will be activate in this diagonal and this e file. By being yourself you can put something wonderful in the world that was not there before, so back to the position, I played rook e1 f takes pawn knight takes pawn and archer queen played knight e5, she takes advantage of my pin pawn, any chess player even Magnus Carlsen can think of saving the queen, let me show you the variation, takes takes b5, and after doing pawn exchanges, you will simply capture the pawn, because you are a human, your brain in chess can only capable of thinking capturing a pawn. Giving some annoying checks, sacrificing a rook and make blunders, the game would be a draw if you try to save the queen, but I am stockfish, and today's Janma asked me of Lord Krishna, so I played f takes e5, sacrificing the queen, even if you are Magnus Carlsen then you shouldn't sacrifice the queen because you are playing against archer queen, she takes the queen and the eval bar is almost equal, but I know that it will be a checkmate in 30 to 40 moves, if you capture the pawn. Let me show you the variation, knight g5 will come to fork your queen and king on f7, therefore you cannot move the king because of d6 discover check, so queen e8 knight f7 check king g8 d6, here best move for black is to play b5, therefore knight h6 double check to the king, king run away d7, the queen is under attack and she can't move there because of the knight f7 check, so black will play queen takes pawn, knight check king here knight takes check, takes takes, and count the material. I'll get an extra rook for the queen that's gone. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself, so back to the position, we have knight f5 to block the rook file, the pawn is being targeted so I closed the position with e6, I built my advanced structure and now I want play g4, maybe rook f1 to double up the rooks on this file, a5 is a good idea to stop the advancing of the b pawn, so archer queen played b5 first, capturing the pawn isn't good because it will help black to open up the a file, queen b6 will be a nice tactical idea to involve the queen quickly in the game, so I moved back my bishop all the way to play g4, here if you capture the a pawn, let me show you the variation, then g4 will come to target it, knight backs bishop g5, queen will run in the b8 square to target the pawn, then we will capture the knight, takes e7, e5 is coming to support the knight and the knight will support pawn promotion with the join and attack of the e1 rook, queen b4 to target it so rook e2 bishop g7 knight takes d6 queen takes check, bishop, blocks queen check, king f1 h5, then after knight check king h7 knight d8, the knight will block the rook's attacking line, therefore white will successfully promote his queen, and the game will be in white's favor. What we fear of doing most is usually what we most need to do, so back to the position, 
we have h5 first, queen b6 c4 is coming to strengthen the queen side pawns, g3 to play bishop h3 to eliminate the knight, and create some kingside weaknesses, so queen b6 bishop h3, this is coming so we have rook f8 bishop g5, e7 is a threat after eliminating the knight, so queen a5 rook f1 c4 rook up c3 and I finally take the knight, takes e7. The pawn is targeting to the rook and you can't take the knight because of this. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.